Greetings, my fellow YouTube nurses. First off, I want to say thank you for hitting the like, subscribing, and the comments that you guys leave me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want to just say, are you guys quiet, shy, maybe nervous? When you guys get report, you guys have a little sinus tag, maybe occasional PVCs, PACs. Sometimes you just get a little anxious and you stop what you're going to say and you don't know how to say it. Don't even trip because it happened to me, it happened to a bunch of other people in nursing school because you have to learn how to give a good report to your doctor, nursing instructor, uh, fellow nursing student, right? So we're gonna give you some five tips. I'm gonna do it a little different just because I can't do it sitting down today. I got my ADD kicking in. So let's do this, guys. First off, foremost, I wanna say being nervous or anxious or just being shy is just an emotion. You'll get over it, right? Okay, girls have little emotions here. Guys may have an emotion. Sorry if you guys do, but it happens. Now, shyness is an emotion. Main, basically, what I'm saying is that it's not a personality trait. You will get over it. So first and foremost, I want to say, be direct. When you give report, know what you're going to say. Don't say, um, and, or, uh, but, and then stop and then pause. You don't want that. You want to give a good report. You want to make sure you know what you're going to say. Be direct. Look at them. If you're going to talk to the doctor, direct eye contact. You don't want to just stop and forget. Because as a nursing instructor, when I hear someone being uh, not confident and they're shy, they're going to break you down. They're going to weave, bob, and take all the weak students out and keep the, the, the confident students and the direct students. So you make sure you be direct. Second one is being confident. When you go in there, you want to you know, look good, be, uh, you know, just like I said, confident. Know what you're going to say and um, just be on top of your game when you give a good report. The third one is SBAR. You guys know what that is. That's Situation Background Assessment Recommendations. So when you guys do a report, you want to know what's going on with the patient. Let's just say an example situation is patient 60 years old, they're admitted for shortness of breath. Assessment, what did you find? Okay, well I found, you know, uh, chest pain, the patient complained, they gave nitro paste, which is every six hours PRN. The patient had abnormal lug sounds, there were crackles upon inspiration. So that's the assessment, right? Now, the situation, um, background, I'm sorry, and then assessment. And the recommendation, well, the recommendation I would say is call the doctor, you know, let's get, uh, I don't know, H&H &H was low at 6.2, maybe we can get blood transfusion to pack red blood cells. That's a recommendation. So when you give report, you want to do SBAR. That's the third one, okay? The fourth one I would have to say is practice, practice, practice. You want to go in front of the mirror, practice, practice with the nursing students, practice with your uh, mom, practice with your dog, practice with somebody so you know what you're going to say. And the fifth, last, most important thing is don't conform to standards. Basically, you know, uh, everyone, there's rules for everything you do, right? So if you go to a funeral, you have to wear black. If you go to a club, you want to wear nice clothes, whatever. That's kind of just following the standards of conformity. You don't want to do that in the nursing field. You want to break the rules. I hate to say that. You got to break the rules. Go on the nursing field and don't care about what people think or what they say because when you're in a hospital, you kind of want to be quiet, you want to be shy, you want to be too loud, you want to wake up a patient. No, no, no. Don't follow conformity. Be out loud. Who cares what people think about what you're going to say, what you're going to do? All they want is report. So don't follow the rules of conformity when you're about to give report. Stick to the skinny. Give them the abnormals. I know I hate to say that too. Uh, what's wrong with the patient? Why are they here? What do we do to get them better? Yeah, so first one, be direct. Be confident. Practice, practice, practice. Do the S bar situation, background, assessment, recommendation. Last but not least, do not follow standards of conformity. Break the rules. Yeah, so hopefully that helps, guys. Get over the shyness. Um, quick story, real quick. When I was a kid, I used to be real shy, and I learned to get over it. Uh, also, I got sent home twice from the nursing uh, hospital because of my instructor. She said that I, I wasn't um, on point with my my um, report and some other things that happened. But you learn to you know get over it, guys. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, write that down. Hopefully that helps. Follow those five rules. Get over shyness. Don't be afraid. Hit that subscribe button and like, guys. All right, I'm going to call you two nurses. I'm out.